a high code Geass anime fan, and Patrick Stewart has been amazing as Professor Rex. Um, it's often considered one of the best casting choices you ever could have made for a comic book character, and I certainly agree. I've seen his work on Star Trek as Picard. It's hard to imagine anybody else being better in the role of Professor X than Patrick Stewart. He just, he's just amazing. Just like, wow, that is that character 100%. Like everything about him. Uh, one of the most elegant, sophisticated, inspirational mentor characters. And he already played one of the most elegant, sophisticated mentor characters when he played Picard. But then he did great as Professor X. And those are both great characters for some similar reasons, but both distinct, wonderful characters that I love. And I love Patrick Stewart whenever he shows up, whether he has a big role as the mentor, just like if he shows up for a few minutes, like he did did in a bit of spoilers here, a bit of spoilers, but uh, he just showed up for a few minutes in Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness, and he stole the show for me because I just love him in that role that much. And speaking of that, you know, Patrick Stewart's first appearance as Professor X was in 2000, and it seemed like his time was done in 2017, and that's a seven-tier year run as the character. With five major appearances, as well as a couple of cameos, that is a great run. And so it seemed like that, uh, both he and Hugh Jack were going to stop playing the roles, but then, you know, they, uh, Patrick Stewart made that surprise appearance in Doctor Strange 2, which, again, uh, big scene-stealing thing, one of my favorite moments in the entire MCU. Again, probably a lot of bias, considering my love for Patrick Stewart's Professor X, but still, I love that. And, you know, that's, I guess that extends that to a 22-year run, uh, but amazing. And the thing is, you know, I've talked about how certain characters can be recast. Can Professor X be recast? Technically, yes, but wow. I I honestly don't think there's ever going to be a Professor X that's as good as Patrick Stewart. And that's not in me in any way trying to discourage anybody that's cast Professor X saying they're going to be a bad job. But, you know, of course, anybody who gets cast, I wish them the best and hope it turns out well for them. And there's some people that could probably could do good jobs, maybe even great jobs. But I really think that Patrick Stewart's Professor X is one of those performances that he really captured really every aspect of the character that you could imagine from the way he, from his sophistication to his inspiration um, to just him being a mentor and, and a philosopher and just a brilliant character. There really isn't anything that could be done better. So, but again, I've talked about, you know, other ca characters can be recast, and I do think other actors can play the role, but this is one I'm like, oh man, I'm really, really struggling to think of anybody that could actually play that role better. I really am. And, you know, Patrick Stewart... You know, I, I understand, you know, eventually they'll have to get another actor, but wow, part of me doesn't want that to happen. But again, if another actor does get recast, I certainly wish the actor the best, and I do believe other actors can play the role well. I mean, we at least see that in animated form. The, the voice actors that have voiced Professor X have done a very good job, and uh, James McAvoy was great as Professor X, so you think, oh, well, you know, what's the problem? Well, that was the younger version of Professor X. Uh, like, the main definitive Professor X is, you know, like, the older mentor character, and I don't know if another actor is going to be able to play that Professor X the same way as Patch to it, it, you know, as great as he did. Because, you know, he was considered the spitting image of Professor X, like, right off the comics. Considered one of the biggest examples of a character taken right off the comics and it working out great. He got to play the role several times and and he was loved in the role. And, you know, one of the biggest things, you know, a lot of people, when they think about the great cast choice of X-Men, you know, of course, they talk about Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, but there are lots of great casting choices. And Patrick Stewart's Professor X is arguably the most common accurate and the most amazing out of all of them. Of course, you know, it's a competition, you know, like Ian McKellen's Amazing as Magneto, and of course, who chimes Wolverine, there's lots of great people. Wow, was Patrick Stewart as Professor X just something really special? And uh, the kind of, I don't know, maybe selfish part of me is like, no, I don't ever want the character to be cast. It always has to be Patrick Stewart, and Patrick Stewart can't do any more than nobody else should play him, but in reality, I, I do think that another actor could do a good job, so... And I, I definitely don't want the character of Professor X to go away and not show up anymore. Patrick Stewart can't play anymore, so... 
you know, if another actor is cast as Professor X, I will be concerned, but I'm not going to go, oh, no, only Patrick Stewart can play the role. I'll be like, oh, I don't know, because I love Patrick Stewart so much. I don't know, but, you know, maybe this actor could be good. And, of course, it depends if they get the right person. And, of course, you know, it's good to give people a chance. But, you know, if they cast somebody that's like, I don't know, like, and, you know, even if somebody I like that's, like, weird, but if they were, like, I don't know, Adam Sandler was playing Professor X, would be like, um, I don't know, I mean, I like Adam Sandler, but I don't know about this. Like, you know, just a random example, I think Michael Jackson wanted to play Professor X, um, and, uh, with all due respect to, to him, you know, of course, music legend, I, I, I don't really see him as the right choice for Professor X, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but, so, yeah, I, th I just really hope they get the right person, whoever plays Professor X next, so definitely hope that works out, and, you know, trying to st stay open-minded about who they cast, but, you know, again, like, like I said, I just, again, the Adam Sandler thing is just kind of a random example, but if Adam Sandler got cast Professor X, I'd be like, hmm, I don't think this is the right choice. <laughs> Again, like Am Sander, but I don't I don't know about him playing Professor X.